Before we go ahead and implement our categories CRUD operations, let's take care of the layout of our views. Because so far, we have created three different view files. And in each one of them, we have full HTML markup. And usually in the application, we may only have one or maybe two different layouts, right? Usually just one layout and every page follows the same layout. Therefore, if we have a way to extract the full HTML out and let each one of these view page focus on what this particular view needs to present, that would be ideal. SPDNA Core MVC provides this type of functionality and that is called a layout file. So let's go ahead and create a layout file. Inside the view folders, the convention is to put the layout file in the subfolder and the name of that folder should be shared. And then we can put our layout file into the shared folder. A layout file is nothing but a, another type of reserve view file. So just select reserve view empty. Of course, you can go here to scaffold everything, but let's learn everything from scratch. So just create an empty view. And here we can put an underscore here and let's call it underscore layout. The underscore here, it's not anything special. It just tells us that this is a layout file instead of a normal view file. And in here, you can just enter your HTML layout the way you want it. At this moment, I just want to have a simple HTML layout like this. It has a header area where we can see the title is supermarket management. And then I have the body. Right now it's empty. I have the div and inside the div is where I want to render the content from each one of these actual view files. Okay, so everything specified in the view files comes here. So how do I do that? I can say add render body. This special method here takes the content from the view file and render that in here. So basically this is a placeholder for each one of those individual views. So with this layout file specified here, let's go to each one of those view files that we have implemented so far. And we need to specify that this new layout file is layout of this particular view. So how do we do that? We can use a code block razor syntax code block with add sign and curly braces and here i can say layout this layout is a string and then i can just specify the name of the layout just like this so with this specified i can remove the html and just provide the content that i want to have for this particular view in this case i'm just showing the title and the category id and following the same idea i can go to other views so here, I just want to show the categories title and beverage and meat. So I'm removing the HTML and its body. And of course, I'm specifying the layout file for this particular view. And now, last but not least, we have this home page. And following the same pattern, we're removing the HTML. And then we specify our layout. So when we have this, the expectation is the content of the view will be rendered in the body of the layout. So where is the body of the layout? Let's go to the layout file here. Here is the body of the layout. You can consider this as the placeholder of the actual view. And then this function is used to render the content of each one of these views into this placeholder. So let's give it a try. Let's run the application. All right, you can see the home page works the same way as before. Let's go to categories page and you can see the categories page also displays the same information as before. Although the HTML tag has been removed, click on the beverage. I can go to the category number one, clicking on meat, I can go to category number two. So everything is working just as before. So that means our layout file is actually being picked up by the view Everything seems to be fine. There's only just one problem here. If we use this approach, that means for every single view, we have to remember to specify the layout on the top. And sometimes we may forget. To solve that problem, we can add a view start file. So again, we're gonna add a view, which is an empty view, and then let's name it underscore 
view start. So this file has to have this name. So this is convention of MVC, SPDN Core MVC. So clicking on add, and then we can clear everything here. All we want to code here is what we have put under each one of these. So we can remove this and then put this over here. So with this file present over here in the solution, we can delete all of these. All right, we don't need to worry about specifying layout in each one of the views. And let's try again, run the application. Now you can see just as before, our pages are still being rendered properly. So how does this work? Before a view is rendered, this view start file is actually executed. So when it's executed, it specifies layout of this particular view, right? And then when we navigate to the categories page, MVC attempts to render this view. And before this view is rendered, again, this underscore view start special reader page is executed and it specify the layout for this view. So therefore we can say that this special underscore view start .cshtml file is automatically executed before rendering any views. So therefore we can centralize some logic in here. Right now we're just using that to specify the layout file. Of course, you can use it for other purposes, but for now, we're using it for layout file. That's everything I want to cover in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.